Welcome to Martini Time. It's Christmas Eve and I'm drinking the good gin from the fish. My uncle's greatest achievement. The fish of Christ. The Holy Grail. But you have to think metaphorically. So. Mm, Bombay gin. Very good. Now, what is the Christmas tune-up? Well, um, now you have to think metaphorically here with me, but literally, I got a tune-up today. Uh, we have here in my house the uh, Yamaha piano player that my uncle bought. Um, here he is. Say hi, Uncle Tommy. <laughs> so. So he uh, fell in love with this player piano in the mall in Tampa, and he had to have it. Why? Oh, he had to have her. It was $35,000, and he bought it with money he should have saved, but when you hear the goddess playing, you want to have her. You want to have that music in your house. You want to have that music in your heart. And it plays there. That's what's about the player piano. You can plug in Frank Sinatra, plug in anybody, and they play right there. Get these little discs, forgot the name of them, and you put them in and the piano will play and Frank will sing. It's right there in your house. And he fell in love with that. The music of the heart, you see. Well, I have a friend of mine who comes over here and he plays on this piano because I don't play on it. I don't play the piano. Um, even though when I was a child, my mother made me have music lessons and I did play the piano, but I've forgotten. So now a piano came to me and my friend says, it's out of tune. I'm going to have it tuned. So a tuner came today on Christmas Eve of all days. He brought his little bag in and he sat down and he went to do that and he had a little tuning fork but then I didn't see him use it and he was hitting the key boom bing boom and tightening it up boom 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 tighten it up what was he tuning to I couldn't tell so he tuned all the keys to his heart he's now Think metaphorically. <laughs> he wasn't going, he wasn't making a noise, he was hearing it. So what he was tuning to was silent to me and silent to him. I mean, he didn't hear a, a real ding going on in his head and he would tune to that, you know, getting the two notes. When you tune something, you get this is going and you get this one. And when they're in tune, you can't tell the difference. But when they're out of tune, it's, eh, 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 you know, uh, 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 we got to get in tune. As soon as you get in tune, the difference disappears. If you notice that, when you're in tune, you're not separate. When you're separate, you're out of tune. Eh, uh, eh, uh. And this one here says, the tune is this. Eh, eh. No, it says, it's it, it, it. And then they fight. No, you got to be like me. Eh. No, you got to be like eh. <laughs> That's the world today. Everybody's out of tune. Nobody's. Everybody's lost the tuning fork inside. Everybody's. Nobody can hear the eternal chord, the eternal word. Nobody can hear the eternal word that makes no sound. Nobody can hear the word that doesn't speak. Nobody can hear silence. Nobody can hear stillness. All we hear is ee, uh, ee, uh. you're in tune. No, you're in tune. Get out of tune. So what do we tune with in our world? Well, we tune to the mind. And what is the mind tuned to? Subcultures. There is like, take America is a culture. Then America is within Western culture. And then Western culture is within human culture. So you have all these larger cultures, Eastern, Western, yada, yada. 
And then they all break down into tribal cultures. You live in a small town, you live in a small town tribe. I live in Blackstone, it's a tribe. There's a culture here, people tune to it. If you come in from some other culture, you're out of tune. You gotta get in tune. Then you don't feel like an outsider. But anyway, the idea here is the Russian nesting dolls and that culture is like Russian nesting dolls, one subculture in another, and each one has its own note. And the people that identify with that particular culture tune to that note, tune to that culture. Trump is a culture. The Trumpers tune to the trumpet. He blows the note, they tune to it. The liberals have another note, they tune to that. Independence. Oh, uh, libertarians. Uh, the Greens, all different tunes. They all tune to that and say the other one's off. So, one of the big problems with our culture today, particularly politics, is that, uh, why did my watch start? Forgot to wind it. <laughs> uh, is that we've fallen into the, the uh, belief in the mind's tuning fork so that what the mind tunes to we believe is absolute. Uh, it's kind of like you have a room full of pianos. Each one is different off a little tune, you know, every, and all the pianos think I'm the one that you should tune to me. So now in our political situation is that one party in particular, the value party, family value party says that all society should tune to our values, our God. So this is a uh, tuning fork. God is a tuning fork for your religion. And then of course religions break down into Presbyterians, Methodists, Baptists, and you know all these different pianos. Each one is tuned to its own note, you see. And um, what the way it should work is that all of them together make music. But if one piano says, no, I'm the one you should all tune to, and they can't tune to it because then they would have to give up their identity. And they won't do that. So then, no, I'm not going to tune to you. I tune to me. And then this one, well, you must tune to me because I'm the absolute tune. I'm God. I'm God's word. Everyone tunes to me, you see. And now that's the destruction of music. <laughs> there's no conductor. You see, there's no piano tuner that can tune all of the society to the soundless, wordless silence of the one. You see? The one is silent. The one is the heart. The one is the heart, you see. If we can hear that, then we can tune to it. And we may be out of tune with our subculture then. That's the risk. They may get the heck out. You're not in tune with us. You may be that, that you're not in tune with Odin if you listen to your heart. You may find a few people who you're in tune with, you resonate with, you see. But mostly people, you won't, you won't, you, they like your music, but they don't, but, but you're not quite in tune with them because they've got their own tuning fork, you see. So they're very curious about you. They're very interested and uh, they don't think you're crazy. They don't know where you're coming from. What are you tuning to? I don't hear it. It's like me with a piano tuner. What are you tuning to? I don't hear anything. You see. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I would share with you uh, my Christmas tuning. I feel the better for it, and I can't help but be struck by the wonder of it all to have a tuner come to my house on Christmas Eve and tune me up and get me, and get me in alignment with the fish, you see. You get, when you're in tune, oh, I just hit a, I just, <laughs> I just hit a little, uh, merry-go-round. 
This is a metaphor for the world, you see. Every subculture is a little horse going up and down. The om, the silent, the word that we all tune to is the center. It makes no noise, but it's the truth. The center that doesn't move is what tunes the world. So if you can't find that, you're going to be out of tune no matter what you do. If you can find that, you'll be in tune no matter what you do. And the way you find the tuning fork of the heart is to ask questions. When you feel out of tune and you say, they're out of tune with me, and you blame them, you say, wait, what is the truth here? What is the truth? I don't know because my mind is confused. My mind is tuned to something that's going to die. What is it that won't die? What is it that it doesn't die? What is it that is the stillness of the spheres, the music of the spheres? I listen, you see. And with that listening, with that surrendering of the mind's tuning fork, we hear and we're in tune by the hearing. And then we fall in place with the world, but we might be out of sync with our old group, our old friends. We no longer tune with them. Even relationships, whatever you've been in tuned with, that's the risk. If you listen to the heart, you may find yourself moving on. Or they may find themselves moving on because you're not in tune with them. That's fine. You're in tune with the world. Thanks for dropping in and Merry Christmas. May you always be in tune.